Hi, my name is Jessica and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking all about my eyeshadow collection. I've already started a pan those eyeshadows project on my channel. That's pretty much why I started my YouTube channel was to document my pan those eyeshadows projects. Um, so I thought it would be a good idea to show you what palettes are in my collection and what palettes that I'm working with that could come up in the next uh, random draw for my eyeshadow um, roulette. So if you're interested in seeing the eyeshadow palettes in my collection and hearing me talk about them a little bit, then go ahead and keep on watching. I apologize for my background. We are filming in front of my bookshelf so you all can get a look at some of the books I have in my collection. Um, this is the only place that I have decent light until I'm able to order some equipment, like a ring light, um, so that I can better light these videos. But for now, this is just gonna work, and at least I have some festive things behind, like these cute little pumpkins, and my delicious smelling candle from Homeworks. It's an Ulta brand. It's, it's the autumn leaves scent. It actually smells really nice. I'm gonna kinda try and go in order from like oldest palette to newest palette, but they might not be like exactly right, because I don't really remember. <laughs> when I got all these palettes. I've had, um, I've been collecting eyeshadow palettes for maybe six years now. I'm gonna show you um, what I have. I'm not sure if this one's the oldest or if the other one that I'm gonna show you next is the oldest, but the first palette that we're gonna talk about is the Vice 4 palette from Urban Decay. And you're probably thinking, how old is that palette? Um, yeah, it's old. I think this is at least five or six years old. You can see I've hardly used it, it's hardly touched. I really just keep this palette for some of the purples in here, I think they're really pretty, and also these green shades, I just don't really have anywhere else in my collection. And the shadows still perform well, so I'm keeping it. I'm kinda hoping that this will get pulled into, a, into my project, my eyeshadow project soon, so that I can play with it more, because yeah, it's just kind of like everyday palette, and I'm a pretty neutral girl when it comes to my eyeshadow on a daily basis but I do love wearing purples, and I feel like purples can be a neutral sh shadow if you do it the right way. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this for a little bit longer. I It's made it through several declutters, and I just can't bring myself to get rid of it. It was really like the first big high-end palette that I ever bought, I, for myself at least. So, yeah, the Urban Decay Vice 4. So the next palette I wanna talk about in my collection is the Lorac Mega Pro 2. And I got this for Christmas. I remember specifically asking for it from my sister. Um, I knew that she had me in our family gift swap that we have every year. And I was really eyeing this palette. And these palettes were pretty expensive. I think they were like $50 about when they were new. And this is definitely like one of my most loved palettes. Like I've used this a ton. You can see I have quite a few pans in it. I actually, at the beginning of the year, was kind of starting like a pan those eyeshadows, like pan that palette. Um, project on this but then I quickly abandoned that because there are so many shades in here I would literally be using this eyeshadow palette and only this eyeshadow palette for years to come so um, but I did hit I circled all the ones I like thought was possible to hit pan on and I've hit pan on quite a few of them so yeah I love this palette it's got great um, mattes very blendable um, I kind of like a powdery eyeshadow they're just like easier to work with um, they're pigmented and um, I also have been using that black for liner, and I, I got a pan on that, like pan on a black, like it's crazy, you know? <laughs> so I've used it for liner a lot. And yeah, beautiful shades. The shimmers in here are not like super metallic, but they have like a nice shine to them. They're just not like the sparkly, sparkly metallic that we're like seeing so much now in palettes these days. I really like pairing like all of these three together for a nice like warm toned look. This gold is really beautiful. I'm pretty, I've got a good dip in that gold. Um, this shade was obviously like one of my favorites. I've used that peony shade a ton. And the shade above it, Prosecco, is really, really good. So yeah, I can definitely see, and the house has like three or four inner corner highlight shades that um, are all pretty similar, but they like pack a good punch. And um, it's just a great staple palette. Much love for the Lorac Makeup Pro 2. The next palette I'm gonna talk about is definitely one that was a cult favorite that everyone on the internet was talking about for so long, and that is the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And this is how my palette looks. See, it's like hardly used. Like I've used some of those mattes and some of those shimmers, but like, 
like mostly over here and like these two but yeah it doesn't have a lot of use to it and it's so beautiful so I, this is another um, palette that I would be happy to roll into my project pan if it came up but it's a great standard palette like it's just great for neutrals like um, it does have those pops of pink but the rest of it is like really a neutral palette if you cover those up like it's super super neutral great for every day I love just like putting like burnt orange in the crease and then like primavera on the lid two shadow look um, tempera this like cream shade has like a slight sheen to it so it's really pretty in the inner corner if you don't if you want something more subtle so yeah I love that palette it's still one of my favorites um, and it's just like got that memory of me of like early makeup early makeup Jessica so I really like that one um the next palette I'm going to talk about is one that I been thinking about getting rid of for a while um, I just don't really use it but there are times when I reach for it like especially if I'm doing like I don't know a Halloween makeup where I want to like just kind of go crazy on shadows and not really I don't really care about them very much and that um, I'm gonna talk about the Kat Von D shade and light eye palette um, and I just used to really love Kat Von D makeup like I loved her bullet lipsticks I loved her um, her liquid lipsticks and then you know what all you all know what happened with Kat Von D so uh, this palette this is what my palette looks like like I really have used this palette a lot um, especially when the first years that I got it but recently I haven't used it a ton and um, but I do love like especially this cool tone shade like I'll use this to like contour for Halloween like for any like ghoulish look and this black is really good and I just don't have a lot of gray tones in my collection so I kind of keep it for that reason like for this quad only um, and then this warm tone quad is really beautiful too so I'd be happy to get this in my painless eyeshadows project just so that I can get a little bit more use out of it and um, then maybe get it out of my collection after I get a better idea of how I feel about it again because yeah like I just don't really reach for it I prefer palettes that have a mixture of matte and shimmer just so I can do like a one and done look the next pot I'm going to talk about is been in my collection a long time I think I was specifically looking for a small palette that I could keep in my travel makeup bag so I could just like have something with me at all times and that is the Tartiste Pro to go palette and it's just so cute and small and I remember just like loving how easily this fit into my travel makeup bag and it really it can produce a handful of looks so this is what it looks like um, I definitely love this matte shade here and this is a really pretty shimmer so I, this is pretty much the two looks I do the most often um, and then if I want to deepen it up a little bit this one is kind of like a taupey brown and the cream shades a little deeper than I would like it but it's nice enough and then these two shimmers are pretty I mean it's just nice to just have something I can throw into my makeup bag that's easy um, yeah and these are good quality shadows these are the first Tarte shadows I ever tried and I enjoy them I think they're the only Tarte shadows I have actually ever but I've always like been eyed I've always eyed the Tarte Linen Bloom palette um, I think it's like a similar formula to this from um, what I've seen and it smells like chocolate which is really nice and so yeah this is I like having these little smaller palettes just for when I want to like pack up a small bag like if I'm bringing it with me for like an overnight trip or like I don't want to I want to do like a carry-on onto the plane if I'm flying so I keep it for that purpose the next pot I'm gonna talk about was so hyped up I remember this I bought this one like it was brand new and it was selling out everywhere instantly and that is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and I still love this palette it doesn't even look like I've used it that much um, but I love it like I've gotten so many beautiful looks out of this palette I love the warm like corally pinks and pairing that with the purple or that little like pop of like sage green on the eye um, luscious is like known to be like one of the most beautiful shades it's just like so beautiful it's such a special shade and um, when I'm reaching for this palette I almost always reach for that shade and so this is another palette that I just haven't gotten a ton of use out of recently I would be thrilled if this came into my project because I just love playing with this palette it still smells really good I think I've had this for maybe like four years so it's getting kind of old um, but I 
still love it, treasure it, and um, it's just like a cult favorite. So really, really love that one. So I love this palette so much, mostly because I love the YouTuber who created it. Um, this is a collab with BH Cosmetics and Shan XO. And she was like my first beauty YouTuber that I watched. And I just thought she was so cute and sweet. And I love the New Zealand accent. Um, anyways, the Shanxo Remix palette is the palette I'm talking about. And I did have the original Shanxo palette with BH Cosmetics. And I used um, a lot of it. And then I got the Remix when it came out. And I gave the other palette to my sister. And um, so this is the like original palette that came out. Um, and it was just such a great neutral palette. Like some of these shimmers are so pretty. I actually think it's just like so good. So Holy Grail is a great shade. Let's swatch that for you. It's like super metallic. I remember Shanks would always use it as a highlight. And then the other one, Glow Baby, is like another one of my favorites. It's like a really pretty shimmer. You can tell I like those neutral shimmers. And then the other side of this palette is just like so fun, like all those pinks. I love pink eyeshadow and I also really like that brown. The brown is called like Need You and I think it's just the perfect name for a shade because it's just like the perfect everyday brown, like it looks great in the crease. And it's fun that it's two-sided. I think she was like the first person I ever saw that did the two-sided palette like this. And um, I just really didn't like, I still love Shanix, so I think she's so cute and sweet. And yeah, love this palette, love her. I love all my palettes. I have a very curated collection. Like I don't just buy palettes all willy nilly. Like I'm very picky with my palettes. I only buy a palette maybe a couple times a year. So yeah, with everything coming out, you have to be, right? Like I can't buy every single palette. So I better like it if I'm gonna spend that money on it. So this is the Viseart uh, Theory palette. And I'm not gonna show you one of the shades because it's in my Pando's eyeshadows, but um, so this is the palette, and there's the, the shimmery purple shade that I'm covering up. And I remember, again, Emily Noel talking about this palette, saying it was the best purple palette ever. And you know that I love purples, I just said that. But um, is it the best purple palette ever? No, I don't think it is. I remember feeling very disappointed about this palette as soon as I got it. Like, it's pretty, um, but like, you can really only make like two, maybe three looks like a, a lighter purple and then a deeper purple look. Um, with this palette and I again I love purples and I'm so glad it's in my paint that palette because I am getting use out of it and I'm really enjoying it I'm actually wearing it on my eye today the shade that I'm covering up um, and then that kind of mid-toned purple shade uh, in the crease so yeah like it's really pretty and Viseart has good quality but for the price it's just not worth it like the this pan this palette this palette was I think $50 or $45 50 after tax for six shades and like, yeah, they're good shades, but $50, 50, $50, right? So yeah, um, anyways, that's my Viseart um, Theory palette in Amethyst. I don't need to purchase any other Viseart palettes ever. This palette is pretty old. I got it in a BoxyCharm back when I got BoxyCharm and I pretty much got rid of every eyeshadow palette I ever got from BoxyCharm and they would send a palette, I think every other month and that was, why I canceled the subscription because how many eyeshadow palettes does one person need? Like, and they weren't even good quality, most of them. So I did keep these two um, because they were, I liked the colors and they were good quality. And mostly I just like the packaging. This one's the Winky Lux um, Kitty. It's called the Kitten Palette, the Winky Lux Kitten Palette. The packaging is just so cute. I love the size. And I think the colors are really cool too. Like, it's pretty unique. Like, I really like um, the gold, it's a beautiful gold. This shade here is really, really nice. Um, it just has like, you know, basics, like a great crease color, a great like all um, like blending out color. Um, and then it has a really pretty blue, greeny blue in here that I don't really have in my collection. So yeah, I really enjoy this one. And this one's like kind of like a duochrome. Let me show you. See how it kind of like shifts a little bit. Um, but it's really pretty on the eye and it's just unique in my collection. So I've always kept onto this one. It's always been like on the edge of being decluttered, but like every time I look at it, it just kind of makes me smile. And um, this is this would be another one that I would be happy to roll into my, into my project just to get use out of it and play with it more, which is why the project's so fun. I'm kind of losing track of what order. Oh, you know what? I think I know. 
The next palette that we're going to talk about is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. And I remember Jaclyn Hill is one of the first YouTubers I watched. I loved her makeup tutorials, um, taught me a lot about eyeshadow. And I didn't really even know much about her. I just like liked her tutorials. And then, um, you know, she got really, really, she blew up and... Um, this palette came out and I remember watching her video introducing this palette and just like thinking like she sold it that woman's a salesman like saleswoman uh, and when she promoted this palette and introduced it on her channel the way she described it the way she sold it I had to have it I bought it on launch day I like set an alarm I never do that and like I bought this palette and it's kind of become like a cult classic and I love it like it's huge um, and it's great neutral palette. I like never really use these blue greens. I don't really wear a lot of blue and um, purple and green. Oh, blue and green. I wear purple. But yeah, like I do really love this palette. There's some beautiful shimmers in here. Um, this shade here, the um, I think it's Smoky But Natural, this one. Um, love it. Let me show you. So pretty. So I love that all over my lid and um, yeah I would love to get more use out of this palette too there's great mattes in here um, great warm tone looks and you can also get some pops of color in there too so that'd be a fun one to have in my in my project uh, but now with everything going on with Jaclyn Hill I think they even reformulated this palette and so it's not even like the same as what I have here in my hands but I do love this palette. It's the biggest palette in my collection and um, I'll still definitely get some years of use out of it. All right, the next palette I wanna talk about is I think this one. This is my Anastasia Soft Glam palette. I got this at Sephora. I remember just like thinking it was so basic and just like I didn't need it and that like it was just like a repeat boring palette and then I saw like every youtuber hype it up and say like how much you how amazing it was and I was getting sold but I do really like this palette again I'm covering up a shade because it's in my panda's eyeshadow so I don't even know about it but um, yeah it's been nice having this in my collection or in my rotation in the project I've gotten a lot more use out of it um, and yeah it's got great mattes um, I'm not like a huge fan of the shimmers in here I just feel like they're not very good for every day. Like these shades here, Glistening and Fairy, are like so similar. They're too similar. And then, um, but the rose pink is really, really pretty. That pink shade there. And like, the gold is like too gold. It's just like, whoa. You know, like I can't even, unless I'm doing like a gold look, like I can't wear that every day. It's too much. It looks like I'm going to Vegas or something. But it is a beautiful palette. I love Anastasia's formula. And um, I'm a neutral girl again. So neutral palette, neutral girl, that warm tone. I can't complain. It's a great palette. Next one I want to talk about is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. It's a chocolate gold palette. And this is another one that was sold to me on YouTube that everyone was like, oh my God, it's so amazing. Uh, yeah, and it is like these metallics are beautiful. I especially love this rich girl shade I don't really have a lot. It's like a taupey silver. Let me show you Do you see a theme here with my shade preferences? So that's a really pretty one Um, and I love how it's like a shimmer palette that has mattes So you really can do a complete look with this and just like play with um, whatever shimmer you're feeling that day. I also really like the shade Drippin' Diamonds. I don't even think I've ever used it. It looks untouched, but I don't have any silvers in my collection, and that's kind of one of the reasons I've kept this palette around is just for that silver shade. Let's see if you can see it for you. Sorry, it's a terrible swatch. Yeah, it's a pretty silver. And I feel like for when I do want that silver look, I will have that silver shade. Um, is this the best palette in the world? It's my favorite palette. No, it smells like chocolate. I love the packaging. It's just like a nice addition to the collection. So I keep it around and I think I spent my own money on it. So I'm not going to declutter it yet. It smells so good. So yeah, that's the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. This is the ColourPop Femme Rosa She palette. And I remember just, 
I think that the packaging sold me on this palette because I don't ever hardly even use this. This is another one I've almost gotten rid of so many times, but it has a nice little like shade range, the purples and the pinks. I thought it would be like more of a purple palette. It's like more pink, but like I guess you could pair those two purples together and get like a nice purple look. But um, yeah, there's just a lot of shimmers in here. There's eight shimmers and four mattes. So, and all the shimmers are pretty similar. Like these four, five, I don't know, these four at least like, look, look very similar on the lid. It's a nice palette. This is my first ColourPop palette and it's pretty. Um, but yeah, I'm just like, I think if I got rid of this, I wouldn't really miss it. Um, but I'd be interested to have it in my Pandas Eyeshadows project just to get to know it better. And again, like, I love the packaging. This was a collaboration with, I think, a YouTuber, but I'm not, Karuchi? Karuchi and ColourPop? Um, but again, I just love that it's like all femme. I'm a huge feminist and I love the roses and yeah, so it can stay for now. So this palette is so old, but it's in my, <laughs> it's in my spreadsheet, so it's possible it could come up. This is a L'Oreal Color Riche Pocket Palette. It's in the shade Avant Garde Azure and it's little four blue shades. And these are actually really good shades, like really good blues. I bought this for a Halloween costume. I was Babe the Blue Ox and I did like blue everywhere on my face and it worked great and I've used it for a couple other looks since then and I don't have a lot of blues so I just have been keeping it you can tell it's the packaging's broken I have like a rubber band holding it together but yeah this is like always keep it in my back pocket like in the event I need a blue look I have blue shades and they work well and um again I spent the money on it so I'm gonna keep it for a little while this is another palette again I think I'm getting out of order here kind of but it's like a general sense of like old to new. Uh, this is another palette from a BoxyCharm. This is the Alamar Cosmetics palette. This was like another decent palette that I was happy to keep in my collection from BoxyCharm. I swear I gave almost every other palette away. Um, so this is a cool palette though. It has great shades. I love the yellow, the Coco Taxi. Um, I think I'm going to use this red for a Halloween look coming up. And uh, these are beautiful. Like these, this green, especially here, like I have nothing else like it. Um, this La Costa shade is a beautiful, beautiful highlight. And these blues and greens don't have anything else like that in my collection. And these shades are just really, really pigmented. Let me swatch the El Malacan for you. Oh my gosh, like look how pretty that is. I need to wear that shade. Oh my gosh, falling in love. So yeah. This is the Reina Del Caribe palette. She did come out with a second one that I haven't tried, but um, it's great. So this one will stay for a while, and another one I'd be happy to pull into my project, although these shades are so pigmented that that would probably be a very take a very, very long time. But again, like, oh my gosh, can we just enjoy this again? So pretty. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry palette. Um, I bought this, like, when I found out that it was limited edition and it was not going to be available forever i had heard so much hype about it that i was like okay okay i gotta buy it and it is just a great neutral palette the shimmers in here are great um the i like the mattes in here too i really like the pink in here i actually think it really does give the palette just more diversity and it can um you know kind of give you a, a more a, it can give you a broader range of looks and um yeah i've used that rose quartz shade quite a bit there's a little dip in there Again, this is in my Pandas Eyeshadows project now, and I was super happy that it was because I hadn't gotten a ton of use out of it, and I've just gotten to know the palette so much more and fallen in love with it more, and um, yeah, love having it. My next palette I'm gonna talk about is one that I got as a gift. Actually, the next couple are gifts. This palette is definitely not my favorite palette, but it's so beautiful, and it was a gift, and I'll keep it forever for that purpose. And again, I'd be happy to get more use out of it. And that is the Ciate Glitter Storm palette. And like, come on. This is like my eight-year-old girl dreams right here. I love it. Um, so this is the inside of the palette. This was a gift for my sister. And it's, you know, you'd think it'd be more purple, but it's not really that purple. It's like more of like mauve tones, I would say. But the glitters are really fun. And if you want a glitter look, like these are more like pink and silver. So like they're not, they're actually pretty neutral um, and easy to wear. 
And I'm, I'm down with wearing glitter. I mean, why not? Glitter on everything. Glitter every day. People need more glitter in their life, in my opinion. All right, this palette was given to me by a friend. Um, and this is the Makeup Geek Manny MUA palette. So it's like an older palette, but it's new to me. Um, it was, it came to me brand new, like in the box, never touched or anything. Uh, and it's really pretty. Like, I think this is a great everyday palette. It's got some beautiful shades in it. I really, really like, um, this shade in particular, the, this shimmer here. <laughs> Are you surprised? Here, let's do it right here. That's so pretty. So yeah, I, that's like a great everyday shade for me. Like I would wear that, like put, um, this in the crease, that on the lid, um, this little shimmer in the inner corner, call it a day. That's like my everyday look right there. <laughs> I'm not a Manny MUA fan particularly. I'm not, not a fan. I just not really watched his content. I mean like a few videos here and there, but, um, I do like the Makeup Geek formula and, it's a pretty palette, so I'm, I'm happy that she gave that to me. Uh, the next palette I want to talk about is, I think this one. This was another gift from a friend, and she gave this to me because she knows that I'm a huge fan of Frozen. Um, it's a ColourPop palette. It is the Elsa palette. I'm an Elsa girl. You know, you're an Anna girl, an Elsa girl. Of course, I love them both. But I happen to be an older sister, and I mean, come on, Anna is a flipping badass. She's the snow queen. Like, she's amazing. Um, is the palette amazing? I don't know. Um, it's got like mixed reviews, and I'd say I have it given a mixed reviews too. But again, it's just like shades I don't really have. Like um, this shade here, this like blue shade. One time I wore that all over the lid, and it was just like cool. Like I don't have anything else like it. It's kind of like a pewter color almost, almost a silver. And again, this would be a palette I'd be happy to get some use out of. Happy to roll into my project and just get to play with a little bit. And the packaging is just so cute. And again, it was a gift. Like, I'm not getting rid of this anytime soon. It's Elsa. And Frozen 2 was so good. Like, I sing Frozen 2. I sing Into the Unknown almost every day. Like, it's one of my favorite songs ever. It's so good. All right, the next palette is another palette in my Panda's Eyeshadows project, um, but I'm really just kind of using the palette because the shade I got is so terrible. The next palette I wanna talk about is the Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics. I really wanted this palette because I needed more rainbow shades, more colorful shades in my collection, but it was actually really disappointing. These shades just like aren't very pigmented. They just don't perform very well. You really have to build them up. Um, so, I mean, like, it works, but I'm still, I wasn't satisfied with this as my rainbow palette. So, I did seek out others, as you might see soon. Um, but, I mean, like, I keep it just as, like, a play palette. Like, if I want to, like, do, like, a special effects look or, like, a Halloween look, um, and I just want to, like, dig into something, go crazy, like, I don't feel sad about doing that with this. This was, like, a $10 palette I got it on sale. So, um... Yeah, like I used like this red in um, a Halloween look recently and I did like a rainbow look around Pride and um, I did try to do like an all yellow look and I think that was when I was the most disappointed with this palette. And I think tomorrow is um, the day before Halloween and I think I'm going to try and do like an orange look with this palette um, to wear to school for my students. So yeah, I'm not getting rid of it. I spent money on it, but like... It's just kind of like a Halloween palette for me at this point. Once it's out of my Pan Those Eyeshadows project, I won't be using it other than like for a costume or for a play. The next palette I'm going to talk about um, I, is pretty new in my collection. It's the Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I just heard so many great things about this palette and I've used it a couple times and I've got gorgeous looks out of it. Like I really love the, um, the shade Zam, sorry, let me not splash you. I really love this shade Zam right here. Let me see if I can show that to you. Show you here. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Um, and yeah, it just has like a really, a lot of shades that I just don't really have a lot of in my collection. Like those purples are really pretty, those pinks. 
um, this like, I don't even know, this is like a gold, like a greeny gold. Let's watch that one. Yeah, it's like a gold color. So um, again, would love to get this in my collection. I've hardly used it. I think I've used it like three times. And um, got great looks, but I haven't really fully experimented with it. I haven't seen the full abilities of this palette yet. So, um, but it's beautiful and I love this packaging. And I love Jackie, she's, she's awesome. She's just like such a cool woman and such a boss and beautiful and talented. And I love her and I love what she stands for. Oh, I forgot this palette. This palette is not, it's kind of older. I got this in a, I got this in a Lucky Box from Beautylish a few Christmases ago and it's a Natasha Denona five pan palette. It is the um, palette number two. Yeah, so these were like the first five pans that came out with, they're like bigger than the five pans that they have now. They're like full size eyeshadows. And this is my first ever Natasha Denona shadow, and I didn't even order it, it just like came in my Lucky Box. But they're really pretty. Again, I hardly use them. They're very like, um, very muted purples. This is like the most purpley purple in there. Uh, but they're really pretty. Um, and I kind of just have been keeping this because it's Natasha Denona. Like I don't even use it that much, but I'm like, I'm not getting rid of a Natasha Denona palette. Like, no way because they're so expensive. All right, and that brings me to my one of my most recent purchases, and that's the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. And I also have this in my project right now, so I'm gonna cover up my shade. But I love this palette. It's been great for the fall. It's been I'm so happy it's been in my project because it's new and I've gotten to play with it and really get to know it. And the shimmers are all gorgeous. Like, they are like kind of similar. I really love the shades in here. They kind of range from shimmer to ultra metallic. And it's just been fun to play with. I haven't, no, I'm not gonna give any details on my project pan at this moment. So, but anyways, it's a beautiful palette. It's probably the most expensive palette I have in my collection. It was a total impulse buy, but I'm really happy with it and it's been really fun to play with. So it was worth the money for me in that case. Okay, this next palette I got as a replacement for my BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette because I was so unhappy with those rainbows and this palette was also out of stock for a long time and I kept like trying to buy it and not being able to and so when I was so disappointed with the BH Cosmetics palette I looked again and the palette was available and okay let me tell you what it is it's the ColourPop palette I don't even know what this palette's called it's the ColourPop palette that is a rainbow. It's like, I don't know what this palette is called exactly, but it's a rainbow palette. So this is like a bunch of their singles put together in a rainbow order. You can like just buy it all together as a palette and literally have not touched this palette, like untouched. I don't know what I'm waiting for. I think I'm just like, not ready. It's just like too beautiful. <laughs> so beautiful to look at. And like, Again, I'm not probably gonna use this palette every day. I'm not a rainbow eyeshadow wearer on a daily basis, but for when I do wanna do a colorful look, I'm glad that I have the option and I have it in my collection. And this wasn't like, it was kind of pricey. I think it was like $40 once it was all said and done, but it's so beautiful. So I'm happy with this one. And it got good reviews and I don't, never don't know because I've never tried it, but I hear it's good and I'm excited to try it someday. All right, and then my most recently purchased palette, it's also my tiniest palette, and it is the e.l.f. Jalapeno palette, Hot Jalapeno, it's called. And this was a $3 palette, and one of the YouTubers I like, Teresa is Dead, who really likes greens, was talking about this palette, saying that it had great green shades. And again, I don't have a ton of greens. I never even wear greens, but if I wanted to wear a green, um, here it is for $3. And... Um, yeah, so I'd be ex I'm excited to try this too. I think um, I need to get a, some use out of it. I haven't even tried it yet, but I've heard it's good. And it's just so cute and little. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about are my single shadows. So I have a Z palette here that have some of my single shadows in it. And these are kind of a mix of, uh, I think there's Makeup Geek, there's some ColourPop, 
there's some Morphe shadows in here. And there's also some sugar pill shadows down here. Um, these sugar pill palette shadows are amazing, but they're ginormous. And I don't think I'll ever, <laughs> ever, ever, ever use all of them. I got them for a Halloween look. So I would be open to getting more sugar pill shades just to kind of like, um, I don't know. Do I really need that? No, I don't think I do. I don't need any more eyeshadows, as you can tell. Um, but yeah, this, uh, I just kind of like whatever. I've gotten rid of a lot of singles, and this is what I have left. They're not even necessarily like all shades that I would like to see myself using. Like these shades down here, I think we're all like Morphe shades that are terrible. But I keep them just for like, again, throw away like, like um, Halloween makeup. Like this gray is really good for shadow for shadows if you're doing like a spooky look. Um, this green is good for like you know if I'm doing I did it for a, I used it for a Beetlejuice costume, um, so I got some good use on it there. But this shade here is broken so many times, but it's like the most gorgeous copper that I just can't get myself I can't get rid of it. So um, don't reach for these a lot. I'd be super stoked to pull one of these into the project just to get some use out of those singles. Oh, and I love this one. This is from ColourPop. It's like the most beautiful warm tone transition. It's in the color, I have to tell you, because it's so beautiful, Koi. I love that shade. So yeah, all right. I think that's all of my eyeshadow palettes that I have to talk about. I have, how many palettes do I have? Okay, I have 26 palettes, which is a lot. Um, so yeah, I kind of would like to pare down a little bit, I think, in the next year. If I'm going to get any more, then I probably should get rid of at least one or two because I don't have really room for them. But I just love eyeshadows, and they're fun to play with. And with this Pan Those Eyeshadows project, it's really getting me out of my comfort zone and pushing me to use palettes that maybe I'd forgotten about, that had fallen by the wayside. And I'm just really enjoying it, and I just love my makeup. I love sitting down in my vanity. I love playing with my makeup. It's like a special time that's just for me. And eyeshadow palettes are just so much fun, which I think is why they're so popular and why there's so, so many out there. So I hope you enjoyed getting a sneak peek into my eyeshadow palette collection. And... Keep on the lookout for my Pandas Eyeshadows update. That should be coming in the next week, very soon. I'm very excited to share my progress with all of you. Thanks again for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed seeing those eyeshadow palettes that I have in my collection. I really enjoy playing with them. Eyeshadows are just so much fun and palettes are so much fun, which is why I think there's so many of them out there for people to choose from. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did like it and you liked me, if you liked my video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and let me know if you have any of these palettes and what you think about them. And if you want to see more of my videos, make sure you subscribe. All right, thanks again, and everyone take care. Bye!